and welcome to this normal Arch Linux ISO which has a still an old kernel IC and um, I'm responding or had a what if when I read a comment on Discord about the browser Brave and I looked into my vast uh, list of videos which is over a thousand videos and I do not have a video about the browser Brave maybe you seen it maybe you don't know it so let's show what brave is all about so yay brave bin is always interesting in the sense that it installs quickly it's a binary right web browser that blocks ads and trackers by default that sounds good git is coming from a github it needs to be built it's a little bit longer and there's a beta version as well and number four is the brave version so you'll have to decide what to take and it's entirely up to you what you choose. I'm gonna go for number one. I'm not going for the beta version. Pro most of the time beta versions get a lot of updates and the stable ones, well, they are staying longer. Even with the binary, it still needs to do some stuff. What I had in my mind was, is LastPass, you know, I use the extension, lastpass.com, is that actually working with Brave? That one as well. Can I import my Brave? This is a nice icon that we've made for it. And the question, well, lots of questions. So let's have a look. What's this pop done? Last pass, get started, it's installed already, it's ready, it's available. So all my 600, 700 websites with all different emails and all different passwords that I don't know are all loaded up. I can just use it. So that's a good thing. How about my bookmarks? We click on this, new tab. We know this, we know this, we know this. All normal shortcuts. Okay. Downloads, bookmarks, import bookmarks and settings. Chromium version one. Okay. Chromium. I have my bookmarks in there. That's okay. Browsing history, no. Save password, no. And cookies, well, no. And then I have nothing anymore. Okay, select items to import. Good question, what should I do? I don't want the browsing history, nor this, nor this, but I do want my bookmarks. So without it, it's not possible. So, Chromium, let's open up Chromium. Okay, I see already. It's still a clean machine, so there is no bookmarks. There are just nothing. So let me import them first and then continue this exercise. All right, I have synced in the meantime. All my bookmarks are present on this system in Chromium. And then we want to have it in Brave. We have here import bookmarks and settings as a button. And now I do have a option you see what you like to import. I'm gonna import my bookmarks and see how that goes. Close all Chrome windows, we can do that. Try again, done. And that's a success. So we have all our stuff in here and that's great, okay? So we have our possibility to have our bookmarks now I'm immediately thinking about cloud syncing on Firefox. You can cloud sync your bookmarks to a Firefox server. Same for Vivaldi, same for Google Chrome, same for Chromium. I wonder, and we have to look at the settings, if that's possible as well. Now these settings, extensions, this one came in 
There are some brave awards. I don't know what is this. Why they say here? Earn by viewing privacy respecting ads. Yes, I mean why brave rewards. Okay, you read this. And what I was thinking is so the extensions. Where did I see my extensions? I went here, more details, extensions, and here I saw the web store. For instance, let's get an ad blocker in. I think uBlock is a good one. You choose and you test it out. There's different kind of guys. I believe it's... Ah, there we go. Which one is it? Let's open Vivaldi and see. I have another one. I have this one here, which is... Go to extensions, Eric. Let me quickly have a glance. So I'm giving you the good advice. Ublock Origin is the one they're referring to. So it must be this one. That's the one I'm using in Vivaldi. Same look, same design. Yep, that's it. So yeah, no problem with getting extensions. So that's a good thing. So history and bookmarks and downloads, settings. Why can't we do more? Make default, they all can. Open on startup, open the new tab page. Or actually, I rather like you open me something to look for. Well, actually, well, I'll do it later. I actually like to be opening a bunch of files. All these guys are opened upon boot. When I open the browser, any browser, Firefox or Vivaldi, these guys go open. One in the account of Arc Linux, the other in the account of Eric Dubois. That's how I work, which leaves me one browser, Google Chrome, no tabs open. So anyway, we can do this. Use web torrent display, blah, blah, blah. Don't know what it is, we'll have to figure it out. Hang out, manage extensions, access sync via Brave Sync. I wanna know what this is. To start, you will have need Brave installed on all devices you plan to sync. Okay, okay. So if I set up another Brave browser on my computer system, then I will be able to sync it to there. He's looking for devices. That's another experiment. I'll sh I'll, another what if that came up, right? Um, how do I get back this one? But it's not syncing to the cloud but still good if you have more than one computer, right? <clears throat> Provides more or less the same service. If you burgled and, and all your computers are stolen, yeah, then everything is gone. And you won't be awake that your bookmarks are gone. Block the ads. Script blocking, you can do that as well. Search engine is Google, which is better, Fivaldi. Dark, unlike dark themes. Show the home button, this little guy. New pack, home button, yeah, Google him. That's it, do we have to save? No. Okay. Use white location bar, that's a white one. It's enough. Hide Brave Rewards button. I think I'm gonna do that. That's the thing up here. Show bookmarks. Yes, please. Your system title bar and borders. What changed? This thing here, up here. Hmm. Better leave it like this. Font size, medium, recommended, custom size, page size. What were we looking at? Get started, let's get started. Extensions. Ah, we looked at everything at the same time. Just divisions of a whole page. Okay. 
and the advanced settings. This is where my exam questions come from most of the time, additional settings. Looking a bit further. Passwords are here. Language spell check is on, that's good. Add a new word. Can we say something? Change the dictionary or something? Nope, don't think so. The printers. Yep, okay. Continue running background apps when Brave is closed. Ooh. Use hardware acceleration when available. That's also important, but, but, but can be dangerous. Story, two screens, one laptop, one laptop and an extra screen in that sense, moving a YouTube video from screen from the laptop to the external monitor, failed running YouTube, all crashed, no, no image. Disabling this and yes, YouTube was working on the second screen. Just so you know. Restore settings to the original and we have Brave 06699. What a coincidence. So, yeah, feels good. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this guy, what does this mean? Can we sync or something? Open Tor window. Hola. They have a Tor window. Private window with Tor, Brave num num num. doing a private window with Tor, your browser is also hitting. Uh huh. Uh, we can do what's my IP or something. Soon not know enough that it's uh, hidden or not. What's my IP? Please complete the security check. What security check? I'm no robot. Oh my god. Bicycles, 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 bicycles. Nah. Oh. Nah. Mountains or hills. Oh, I must have been making a mistake or something. I don't know. Verify. 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 <laughs> Rubbish. Aha! Uh -huh. It is agreed upon. I'm living in, in, in Stockholm. That's where I'm at. At the Bahnhof. So in a station. That's where I am at this point in time. So yes, I agree. Tor is working. Which is a nice little thing to know. Right? It's a nice asset. An extra element to know that if you want to browse and you want to be super, super safe, well, Tor is the way to be super safe, but this thing, I don't know, we should actually, hmm, we should try it out. So when I do a private window, Control Shift N with Tor, Alt Shift N, we should actually see our Linux AAG, the speed, how it fast it downloads will show that we're going via AAG and how fast or slow that is. Uh, yeah, go, download. One hour left, okay. <laughs> yes, we are going via Tor. My downloads take around 40, 45 seconds. So we're going via server A, B, C, D, E, etc. Oh, maybe you can see this. No, you can't. Because in there is in the Tor browser there's this option where you can see what hubs you take, what jumps you take free of via Stockholm to etc. etc. And probably probably I just moved from country. I'm curious to see if he already moved country or is he waiting for another boot up or something like that. I am living now, I have this as number. Where am I? Did I take another? No, this is the one. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. 
Oh, like here we go again. A bus and a bus and a bus maybe. I don't know. That's also a bus. Another bus. Another bus. Ah. Fire, fire, fire. Uh -huh. So, oh, wonderful. I'm living in Thailand. Ain't that nice? Ain't it nice? So if you want to see. No, I can't. Scroll. I can't scroll. It's your location map somewhere in the sea. But it says up here that I'm living in Thailand. Next layer telemarkation, these slice on that's German. So where uh, country Thailand. Chiang Mai in city Mai Ya or something equivalent. So enough played around. This is brave. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Uh, anyway, this is gonna take forever because it's not straight downloaded from um, well the site seat host it's going via 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 different hubs and eventually it ends on your system of course but very slowly all right that's it for me i am out like the thing discovered something new the tour thing nice and um, everything works i have what i need in the sense that i have here my last pass and my bookmarks and that's basically all i want i need but um, one syncing thing and the syncing thing, we'll check it out, but it seems to be local. So not via um, a web server or some kind. All right, enjoy your brave. Cheers.